Every woodworker knows that a miter joint, like you would find in the corner of a picture frame, is structurally weak. And that's because it's basically end grain that is glued to end grain. And you're taught that the way to make this joint stronger is to cut a slot or two in the side, insert a thin piece of wood with a differing grain direction called a spline, and that's supposed to make the joint stronger. But no one ever questions just how much stronger does a miter joint become when you add a spline to it. And that's what I'm going to answer in this video. The general strategy to test the strength of a joint is to first build the joint and then see how much force it takes to break it back apart again. I started this experiment by slicing up an old pine cutting board I had lying around. The grain direction in these pieces is quite straight and uniform, which is important for a test like this because I'm trying to test the joint strength, not the wood strength. I ended up with enough wood to build two picture frames, which will ultimately provide eight total miter joints to test. I used a miter sled on my table saw rather than using a miter saw to cut the 45 degree corners. The sled is more precise than a miter saw, so all the corners fit together nicely. I used Type Bond 2 glue for this, and I let each frame dry overnight in a strap clamp. Then I used a spline cutting jig to cut the slots for the splines with a normal 8 inch thick table saw blade. I cut a single spline slot in two corners of a frame and double spline slots in the other two. This way I'll have four joints to break with no splines, two with a single spline, and two with double splines. I cut the splines out of hard maple and at just the right thickness to fit snugly in the slot without having to hammer them in. I let the glue dry on these overnight as well before sanding the excess flush with the outside of the frame. For reference, the sides of each frame are one and a quarter inches by one inch. I used my bandsaw to cut each frame into four pieces. It's a little painful to slice up some perfectly good picture frames, but it's worth it for the sake of science. So here's my experimental setup. I put a card jack on top of a bathroom scale, and I zeroed out the scale so I don't have to take into account the weight of the jack itself. The plan is to clamp a joint to this vertical 2x4, and then slowly expand the card jack until the joint breaks. I'll have my phone recording the video of the bathroom scale, and the reading just before the joint breaks will tell me how strong the joint is. To make sure the card jack is applying pressure at exactly the same spot on all of the joints, I stuck an allen wrench between the card jack and the wood exactly 5 inches from the joint. It's important that this distance is consistent for each measurement because placing the jack further away will actually decrease the amount of force necessary to break the joint. I started by breaking the miter joints with no splines in them. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on my cell phone camera for the first of these, so I'm not sure how much force it took to break, but for the next three, they required 92 pounds, 113 pounds, and 116 pounds to break, with an average of 107 pounds. Next, I tested the joints with the single spline in them, and that's where things started to get weird. So the first of these took only 97 pounds to break, and the second took 106, which averages out to 102 pounds. That's actually less force than the joints with no splines. Anyway, moving on, next I tested the joints with dual splines, and these took 118 pounds and 129 pounds to break, averaging at 124 pounds. So at first glance, it looks like adding one spline will actually decrease the strength of a miter joint, but adding two would slightly increase it. Could this really be true? Here's what I think is happening. I noticed that when breaking the joints with no splines, when they failed, they completely popped apart cleanly. When breaking the joints with splines, even though it took roughly the same amount of force, the joint would slowly separate and didn't completely fail. The take home message here is that whether or not adding splines adds strength to a miter joint depends on how you define strength. 
No, they will not prevent the joint from warping and beginning to separate, but they will hold the joint together and stop it from completely falling apart if the joint fails. Does this mean I'm going to stop using splines in picture frames, or that I'm going to recommend you stop using them? Of course not. Consider two picture frames, one with splines and one without. According to these tests, they are pretty much equally strong. However, if you drop them both onto a hard concrete floor, chances are good that the frame without splines will fall apart into different pieces, while the frame with splines will hold together. Plus, splines look pretty awesome, which is more than half the reason I use them. Thanks for watching.